Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. I hope things are well in your world. Uh, it's been a minute. The last video I posted on here was a Hearthstone's Battlegrounds video on February 3rd, 2023. I took a little break from doing things for YouTube, and I took a little break from Hearthstone. And uh, I've been streaming a different game and been pretty dang happy. Uh, for the update portions, life is good. I'm a very happy dad. I'm very happy to be doing the stay at home dad thing and looking after the baby. I've even done a few afternoon streams when she's been taking a nap, which is uh, pretty nice. One of them was 20 seconds uh, because she woke up, but most of them have been around 30 minutes and we've had a good time. Uh, as to what happened, I feel like I should probably address that and why I'm not looking at playing Hearthstone and why I kind of bounced around between a couple different games. Um, I, I'd mentioned some about what happened with Magic. After some time away and thinking about it a little more carefully, I think what I've recognized is that the, the way that limited work just changed. It's not necessarily better or worse, but it's different than how it used to be. Uh, and I liked how it used to be. That's that's how I enjoyed it. I think they moved more of the complexity from the drafting to the actual gameplay, which for most people would be better and for me was worse. Uh, so I'm not looking to come back to Magic. Um, I, <laughs> for the Phyrixians were always my favorite villains, and I literally have Lord of the Rings tattoos. So with them releasing the Return to Phyrexia and the Lord of the Rings set, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to come play. It, it seems like Magic's just not in the cards, if you will. Uh, now, after that, I went and played a bunch of Hearthstone, and I enjoyed it. But what's interesting is people had asked me about Storybook Brawl, and it was before the FTX collapse. And I'd said that I wasn't playing it because I knew I didn't have the time to get really good at it and be competitive. And for some reason, I forgot that I thought that way when I started playing Hearthstone. And then that kind of crept up on me and got me again. And it was like, well, you just don't have the time to invest to get much better than, than this level. And that's okay. Hearthstone's Battlegrounds is, is certainly fun. But frankly, Storybook Brawl is still fun. I, I hope that they're able to secure some funding and keep going. But I, I just don't think those are kinds of games that I can play right now because my focus really needs to be on being the best dad that I can be. And that's what I've been doing, and I'm very happy with it. Now, what have I been streaming for the past two months? And will I continue streaming it? Well, I don't know if I'll continue streaming it. We'll see. Um, but I'd always been playing Escape from Tarkov as kind of my off-stream game and had a lot of fun with it. I had a group of friends that I played with uh, somewhat consistently. Andy, Ken, Rick, Chris, Marty would jump in every now and then. Kevin was usually there. Like it was a good group and we'd you know, do duos or trios and just have a good time. And it was always a game that I really enjoyed. I'm not particularly good at it, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, and I, I did stream it a little bit just for fun here and there. Uh, but I kind of got the bug again and wanted to play more Tarkov. And I've been streaming it and been having a good time with it. If you watch any of my Cycle to Frontier videos, um, which is another game I tried, uh, it's very similar to how Cycle works. It's not your standard FPS, and I think it's probably worth explaining it, uh, because I am planning on putting up uh, my first Escape from Tarkov YouTube content and see if you guys and gals like it. Uh, it's one of the raids. But the, the way the game works is it's not like Counter-Strike where there's two teams and you have teammates, and it's not like... I don't know, PUBG or Fortnite, where, you know, there's a hundred players and you're you're battling to the end. It's really closer to a role-playing game that has a, an FPS interface, if you will. The way it works in Escape from Tarkov is you're given tasks from various traders to allow you to escape from the Tarkov military zone. Uh, there's a story, I'll kind of leave that for you to pursue if, if you want, and instead of trying to tell it here. But you'll load into a map, Usually there's around eight players per map. That can vary depending on the size of the map. You may have entire raids where you never see another player, and there's tasks that you're doing, similar to what you might see from World of Warcraft, like kill X enemies in this spot or collect this item from this area. And that's generally how the gameplay works. Uh, there's AI opponents and there's human opponents. Um, and basically, if you bump into other players, you, there's even an in-game voice system, which I don't use personally. I, I like the PvP aspect, but you can talk your way out of fights if that's the way you want to go. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately. I, I had an idea about some content I could do for Escape from Tarkov, potentially with the next wipe, which is likely to happen this summer. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just try a few pieces now and see how people respond to it? 
So that's what I've been doing, kind of what's up. Why am I playing Tarkov instead of Cycle again? Um, Cycle had a big problem with cheaters, which I understand they fixed, but there were a lot of scenarios in it where I just hated the way the recoil worked on the guns. Uh, for whatever reason, well, I, I guess the reason is Counter-Strike is insanely popular, but Counter-Strike had a recoil mechanic where the gun would spray in a particular pattern and you needed to memorize it and compensate with that pattern. That's not actually how guns work. I've shot a lot of guns. Um, my father was a firearms collector and I, I grew up shooting guns at ranges and going hunting. Like no guns actually work like that. The guns in Tarkov have a recoil pattern that's far more realistic. Whereas Cycle seemed to be copying the Counter-Strike style where it would just pull down on the mouse. Whereas Tarkov, your character is going to be doing the compensation and the gun isn't spraying incredibly wildly. It's just a little more realistic. And that's always brought me back to Tarkov because it feels like I'm shooting a gun, not some sort of weird laser out of my eye that's flopping around all over the place. So I like the game. That's why I've been playing it. Uh, I'm going to continue streaming it for the foreseeable future. Who knows? I might change my mind because again, right now I'm a professional dad and another two or three years, I'll be a professional streamer again. And maybe I'll be good at Tarkov by then. Maybe I'll be back to playing Magic, or maybe I'll be playing Fortnite 3. Who knows? But I wanted to let you know how we're doing. Uh, the family's great. I'm great. Life is good. I uh, stop by the stream sometime, and uh, if you see the Tarkov video pop up and you like it, please do let me know in the comments. It would mean a lot. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.